The assertion that life is not a problem challenges our conventional understanding and seems to contradict common sense. We typically perceive life as a series of problems, ranging from existential questions like why the universe exists to practical concerns like securing food. This perspective suggests that life's struggles are constant and varied. However, the suggestion that life is not a problem proposes that what we worry about may not truly exist, likening our concerns to a ghost. It highlights that neurotic behavior involves repeating unsuccessful patterns without resolution, indicating a cycle of birth and death that resembles a vicious circle. This cycle persists because we attempt to solve problems that appear insurmountable or may not even be real problems, leading to a never-ending loop of challenges that seem impossible to resolve. The discussion centers on the perceived instinct for survival and the notion that it drives individuals to continuously work and strive in life. This survival instinct is questioned, suggesting that if we critically analyze our motivations, we might find that the underlying impulses, like the drive for survival or the necessity to work, are illusory. The argument posits that by focusing on and clearly describing our actions and motivations, we could see that what we consider instinctual might not be based on any concrete evidence. It challenges the validity of a survival instinct by pointing out that people continue to live until they don't, raising questions about the nature of this so-called instinct, especially in the face of death. This perspective encourages a re-evaluation of our assumptions about what drives us, suggesting that many of our motivations might be more akin to ghosts of the mind than real, tangible forces. In attempting to explain complex behaviors or activities, we often fall into the trap of attributing them to an abstract motivating force, an incarnate spook, which simplifies the explanation but fails to accurately describe what's truly occurring. This misstep is emblematic of a broader misunderstanding in our approach to observing and interpreting the world around us, particularly influenced by the entrenched notion of stuff, material objects acting independently. This viewpoint is challenged when we scrutinize the world more closely. For instance, a nebula in the distant cosmos might be mistaken for a solid entity until advanced telescopic technology reveals its true structure as a spiral pattern. This shift from viewing the universe as composed of solid, stuff, to recognizing patterns and behaviors underscores a fundamental misunderstanding. Our initial perception is often a result of insufficient examination or inadequate technological tools. Diving deeper into the human condition, the question of what maintains the human organism's shape illustrates the complexity of internal and external influences. It's not just the skin or internal structures that define an organism's form but also the external environment, such as atmospheric pressure. This insight leads to the concept of transactional relationships, where existence is defined and not by isolation but by a complex web of interactions, as outlined by Dewey and Bentley. Everything, animate or inanimate, exists through its relationships with everything else making any attempt to isolate an entity from its context fundamentally flawed. Consider the multifaceted identities of individuals, such as a doctor who is also a father and a citizen, each role intertwined with various relationships and responsibilities. Imagining these roles in isolation creates a fictional, independent entity, a ghost, separate from the complex reality of interconnected relationships. This understanding shifts the perception of organisms from being passive entities shaped solely by their environments to active participants in a dynamic interplay. It dismantles the conventional dichotomy of actors and acted upon, offering a more nuanced view of the world as an interconnected whole. By focusing on describing what happens rather than attributing actions to discrete entities, we gain a clearer, ghost-free understanding of reality. This perspective not only clarifies our view of the world but also reshapes our understanding of life itself. It suggests that life is not a problem or contest against the environment but a rich tapestry of interactions. Embracing this view allows for a preliminary intuition into the essence of life, moving beyond the misconception of life as a battleground to a more harmonious coexistence within the vast network of the cosmos.